Let's close our eyes, please. I'd like you to pick a song of praises in your own mouth and I'll sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. What a mighty God we serve. Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, do wonders. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name, Jehovah. Oh, my. 
As many people as are expecting great deliverance for which you have already started thanking God, let your amen be loud and clear as I pray now. The prayers that are going to be prayed now, they are not ordinary prayers. And so your amen should not be ordinary amen. Because God inhabits the praises of his people. He is glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. So the kind of prayers we are going to pray is prayer to terrify your enemies. It's glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, and he inhabits the praises of his people. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We praise you because you are a rock, you are a shield. Thank you because you are worthy to be praised, you are worthy to be glorified. Thank you because of your mighty, awesome presence in this place. I am praying for somebody here that all the arrows fired against your star shall backfire in the name of Jesus. They shall backfire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father. I pray right now. Every demoting power, every commonizing power, every rubbishing power assigned against the destiny of the life of anyone here, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every mocker gathered against you shall come and prostrate before you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat for a few minutes, please. I'm sure we have had a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord tonight. Glory be to the name of Jesus. We want to appreciate all the single groups who have come, both from the headquarters and from our branches, and the invited guests. Let us shout, God bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. In Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8. This is going to be the focus of our closing prayers. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. I speak just for a few minutes on the mystery of divine manifestation. Divine manifestation. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. This is a lamentation so for the endless expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the endless expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. Point number one. God is a God of manifestation. And there are thousands and thousands and millions of people waiting for you to, to manifest. A lot of things are waiting for you to manifest. The world too is waiting for you to manifest. There are plenty of things that will not get into that sh into proper shape until you manifest. Whether you like it or not, there are plenty of people whose destinies are attached to your destiny. So if you do not manifest, you put them in trouble. What am I trying to tell you tonight? 
I'm saying that until you shine, some people will not shine. That's why I'm praying for somebody here. Every power that wants to bury your star shall be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. By fire and by force, you must shine. You must shine. You must shine. In the name of Jesus. Until you manifest, some head will never, never be lifted. Until you manifest, some stars will never rise. This generation has an expectation for your life. It's waiting for you to manifest. There is an expectation that this generation is, is, is looking forward to getting from you. That's why you must manifest. And when that manifestation starts, when you pull up your head into divine manifestation, your life takes a new turn. Try as you may, struggle as you may. When God blesses you, you cannot hide it because you have been ordained to shine. When you key into divine manifestation, your gender will not matter. Nobody is interested in that again. Nobody will consider your color again. Nobody will consider where you're coming from. No one cares about your background. No one cares about your tribe or where you're coming from. This is why I decree tonight that divine manifestation must take root in your life. In the name of Jesus. The same people who mocked you will be the first to honor you when you receive divine manifestation. When divine manifestation occurs, it may be like a dream. You will see yourself all of a sudden being called out from the crowd and you will be honored and enthroned and highly lifted. And all those who used to laugh at you, they will now begin to bow down. The time has come for somebody here to experience that divine manifestation. The expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. If you want to plug your destiny into that divine manifestation, rise up your feet now. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. Let there be silence now. So rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. There are some prayers I want you to pray now. And I want you to pray it from the bottom of your heart. There are special angels here tonight. And I don't want you to go home without a touch. Therefore, the first thing I'd like you to do is to stretch your hand towards me at the altar here. Father, these hands that are stretched forward here, let the anointing for divine elevation, the anointing for uncommon elevation, the anointing for divine manifestation, fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let these hands become the hands of blessing, the hands of breakthrough, the hands of power, the hands of strength in the name of Jesus. Now lay that hand upon your head. Your head is a symbol of your destiny. Lay it there. As you lay it upon your head, if there is anything in your life that is crying against your elevation, crying against your manifestation, at the count of seven from this altar, with a volcanic speed, they shall jump out of your life. Something is about to happen now. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, and that's seven. That's the power of God coming upon. Yes, it's happening. You, the stubborn spirit of infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. I render you homeless now. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus. Keep that hand on your head. Aha. Something has happened to somebody over there. The powers that have been misdirecting you, taking you to the wrong locations. It's coming out, it's coming out! 
Say, my head. Hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and cry to the Lord. Something is happening here tonight. For Santa Capola Caraba. Yes, 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 yes. This must be your turning point. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer, I want you to pray. If you will try. So that nobody's voice is louder than yours. If you can try for the few seconds we're going to pray, to pray like a mad prophet, seven things will happen. One, you will receive an uncommon testimony. Two, you will experience miracles that will give birth to other miracles. Three, some things will happen in your life, and fellow human beings will think you are a spirit. Four, terrible things will happen to those challenging God in your life. Five, you will receive the anointing of the pace setter. Six, you will begin to rewrite the history of your family. And seven, you will be in the center of divine favor. If you can just try and pray this prayer few seconds but pray the way you have never prayed before power of divine manifestation can I hear you sounding loud and clear look at me now in the name of Jesus Power of divine manifestation. Locate my life now. Masente kaya boshente raba. Rima sapia lekata. Bakata ndaraba. Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And it is so in Jesus' name.